Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here on Sunday, September 24th, 2017, to bring you the weekly reading for Twin Flames. This weekly reading will go from today, which is Sunday, all the way to Saturday. Let's see what day that is. So it'll be September 30th, 2017. Thank you to all those that like, share, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks to those that follow on Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, soon to be Instagram, and I am starting a Tumblr as well. So I wanted to also thank those that have come to me in private sessions. The links are in the description box below, so you can connect with me to get a chat reading. And um, those are whenever you see me online, so you don't have to book it in advance. I also have the private video reading option, so read about that in the description box. We're going to start today with a positive affirmation for the week, and it is, today we look in the mirror and say, I love you and I know you are doing the best you can. So if you could say that to yourself every morning, then that will help you along on your twin flame journey. So just remember to love yourself and always remember that you're doing the best you can on this journey no matter what stage you're at. So this reading is general for all twin flames for all stages of the journey. Prior to starting the recording, I did pray, shuffle, and then was able to, divinely guided by spirit, get some cards. So I drew cards for the Divine Masculine Twin Flame, the Divine Feminine, and the Union. Those are Oracle cards. And I'm using, again, the Vision Quest Tarot, which is a Native American Wisdom Tarot by Sylvie Winter and Joe Dose for the tarot spread that I'm going to do for the upcoming week what's going to play out between the twins so you know you could be the divine masculine or feminine watching it doesn't matter which gender you are whatever energy that you embody the most because each of us has our own divine masculine and feminine energy within us and what we want to be doing is maintaining a balance of those energies within us all right so one more shuffle and then we'll look at the bottom of the deck energy. All right, so the bottom of the deck is the four of earth. Uh oh, that one was reversed. Okay, so interesting. So the bottom of the deck energy is the four of earth, which is security, but it's in reverse. So it means that we may be feeling overall this week a little bit insecure about our position in our twin flame relationship so or in our twin flame situation so hopefully though the reading will help us um, and empower us so that we will be more secure the situation that may play out um, over the week is the ten of earth so this is like the ten of pentacles where we have the ultimate abundance in both earthly material goods and also spiritual goods and in love even so that this would be equal to a completion in both love and spirit so both the physical and the spiritual realms so that's the situation but what blocks the situation or what might cause some delays or what could even cause the situation to move forward is the four of air which is contemplation and this actually came up for I believe the union in the last reading that I did about the equinox gateway so that's interesting that both twins it looks like are in this state of contemplation of where we want the union to go next but it's a pretty stable position so that could be either an obstacle or something that actually helps to move us forward the crowning energy is the daughter of earth meaning that we're going to be feeling pretty stable we're going to feel that we have all that we need and we're pretty secure actually so even though we might go into the week overall feeling collectively that we don't have enough we we actually do have enough and we are secure in our material world what we have to work with is five of water or loss. So it may be that you are losing something while you're on this twin flame journey. It could even happen during this week that you're feeling this loss or maybe you're feeling that your beloved isn't there with you and that's somewhat of a loss. Maybe you stopped communicating again or you had some kind of argument or 
you know, you're in a dynamic where one of you is, you know, not emotionally available or whatever it might be, just remember that even though you lost something, you still have something. And this also means change. So with loss, you are going to see the situation change and maybe there's a reason for the separation and there always is a reason for the separation between twin flames actually it is to help us to individually heal and come back together more whole in our individual beings so that we can contribute more to the union okay so in the very recent past we have the son of air so we have the feeling of um, going for what we were hoping to go for so this is kind of like the knight of, of wands so being very passionate and moving toward our goals all right and moving toward our twin flame union um, in the near future we're going to have the father of air so it looks like there's more maturity and more stability along with that passion so we're still going to feel that we're moving forward but we're going to feel that we are moving forward and becoming more mature actually going from the sun energy to more of the father energy and here we have how we um, feel right now which is reversed the two of water that's love and you can see that the two hands are touching that's the two beloveds where their two paths meet and you know come together but now like upside down it's the feeling of separation so i have a feeling that you know many twins and separ separation are going to resonate with this reading unfortunately um and it could be twins that were in union that are going through a, se a separation as well but how others see you as is as the ace of air so this means that they see you as having a new beginning right before your eyes so they see you you know embarking on a new stage or part of your journey a new phase what you're hoping for is a good change that will bring balance between you and your beloved a balance between uh, the dark and the, the light so the balance between night and day or your shadow aspects and your good aspects that's what you're hoping for and then that means you know two is always a connection so you're hoping to bring the connection back into the physical and not just have it be a spiritual connection between yourself and your beloved the overall outcome here interesting that we have some reverse cards here but it is the life force card in reverse um, yeah so this means that you're gonna feel drained by the end of the week so I'm having a feeling that that's because you're going into the week with so much enthusiasm and you're going through a spiritual growth spurt here even if you're in especially actually if you're in separation and then you're gonna feel like you're just drained at the end of the week which sometimes we actually end up getting drained during this ascension process but that um, just means we need to rest and rejuvenate and then usually when we do feel drained and we are having maybe purging symptoms or ascension symptoms then we actually are able to rise to another level higher so I'm pulling this card as a clarifier for this and we have the five of fire or stress so <laughs> Um, these cards are not getting more positive here, unfortunately, but let me see if I can pull, um, I'm going to pull a different card that's not out there already. I'm going to pull one of these gateway oracle cards to see what the whole purpose of us going through this, um, you know, tiredness and the stressful time this upcoming week is. There must be some reason behind it. I don't want to scare anyone okay it says manifesting dreams your dreams are coming true so could be that you're just trying to work really hard to make these dreams come true and maybe it's time to like take a step back and relax a bit so that you don't burn yourself out because that's what it seems like here that we're going to be or we were recently like very passionate and then we're going to be increasing in passion and understanding then by the end of the week we're going to be really tired so maybe we're going through a huge growth period where we are manifesting our dreams and it's just going to tire us out so that's what i'm hoping for all right let's look at the oracle cards we'll look at the divine feminine energy for the week first okay so i pull the spirit energy spirit or soul or higher self of the divine feminine is the fox um it says your sharpened senses allow you to observe the actions of others so it seems that the Divine Feminine is going to be observing their beloved this week and observing others and even observing themselves. 
you know, in a spiritual realm and not really doing too much in that regard, which is good because you don't want to tire yourself out if possible. So, you know, we're in a period of fast manifestation, so don't overdo it with energy work or anything like that this week. The heart space of the Divine Feminine is a commitment, dedicating yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly knowing that love is the essence of your very being so if you are the divine feminine you're committed to your twin flame journey you're committed to your soul's growth and healing in this process and union with yourself union with your with the divine and with your beloved ultimately we have here though is um maybe making sense for the tarot spread the mind and body energy for this upcoming week for divine feminines are 33 chaos and conflict and 33 is an ascended master card actually a number i should say so to me that's another indication that we're going to be going through a very rapid period of spiritual growth during this week so yes it may feel chaotic and there may be some conflict but that's because i tr truly believe this not is not a negative thing but a positive thing that you know we're manifesting our dreams so we have to go through these changes even though they may be they may be um difficult what it's stating here is that stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition the incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved this is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. Some things are negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before for the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before if you use this time constructively. So. I really do feel that you may feel conflicted and that there's chaos this week, but it's it's only because you're going through a period where you are growing. And so always remember to get into your heart space when this happens, because if you are feeling stress, chaos, and conflict, that's all coming from your mind and your ego. So try to switch from you have to make a conscious effort by the way of doing this but try to switch from thinking with your head and ego to thinking with your heart a little bit more this week and that'll help you through the week and you'll see that if you practice that you're going to move up a spiritual level and come closer into a harmonious union in this physical realm with your beloved now let's look at the divine masculine energy cards so we have the spirit energy of the mouse so the divine masculine soul is going to be persistent and incisive and all obstacles will be overcome. So energy starts in the soul. So the soul of the divine masculine knows that they're meant to be with you. So they are going to be pushing for growth at the heart and mind level this week. The heart of the divine masculine will feel unity. They will be understanding that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So they're going to be feeling, and if you're the divine masculine watching, you're going to be feeling this union with your beloved in the third dimension. It won't just be a fifth dimensional or a higher dimensional reality for you anymore. And the Divine Masculine has a beautiful number 22, blessed for the mind and body energy so i'm actually going to look up the message for the divine masculine it's very um this book has you know messages this is the wisdom of the oracle it has messages for different situations so as for a relationship it says you are moving toward a deepening of intimacy and a unique and sacred partnership you know you are meant to make this connection this union blessed by the divine will bring transformation and beauty to the world this is also a sign that even more important you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit with this new development you will see evidence of grace in your life so the divine masculine is moving into a union space and i have goosebumps because that's just amazing so hopefully this will happen in your union this week um I have a special message for whoever's watching from your beloved from the Talking to Heaven deck. Your beloved wants you to know that they always give you a good night kiss. All right. And that's, you know, 
in higher dimensions, but they're always with you. The spirit of the union for this week is the scarab beetle. It says, what is unregarded or discarded holds a secret seed of creation. I believe that's the third energy of the divine and sacred partnership. The combined heart energy of the union is satisfaction, letting the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that, oh, that others, not even your beloved, no longer define who you are. So if you come into your own self-actualization and satisfaction with yourself, then your beloved is going to love themselves as well and your union is going to be so positive. And wow, this soulmate card comes out for the union energy for this week. So I'm so excited because the wisdom of the oracle does not have any twin flame cards. So I consider this to be the twin flame card because your twin flame is one of your soulmates. They are the other half of your soul, obviously. They're, you know, from the same monad. All right, so here we go with the relationship message for this. Consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will, be so you will finally claim who you're meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate come to guide you home to the real you. All right, so <laughs> I feel a little choked up, but I'm gonna stop. Okay, so um, I also pulled an Archangel Michael card, and it's the same one that we ended up getting, I believe in the last reading I did, that the romance angels are helping us at this time, right? So Archangel Michael wants us to know that um, the romance angels are getting your beloved ready. So that's why your beloved soul is pushing for the union in the heart and for the mind of the, of the divine masculine to realize how blessed they truly are to have you or whoever's watching. Um, but basically, the romance angels are helping. All right, so I'm going to end there, sending you some Reiki healing for the week so that you may receive the blessing and manifestation of this reading. Have a wonderful week. Namaste.